Welcome back. We've arrived in Palm. That is actually exactly what I wanted to say. That's weird. Well, it's my first time here, but this town really is beautiful. I was here two years ago for our field study, and I had to pick up something for Patrick. Something to do with a waistcoat? I was in the other group from U3. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. With the situation different, we could have spent quite a relaxing day here. Yeah. The abandoned road is to the south of here, but Duvali and that enforcer might be waiting for us. Let's make sure we're fully prepared before we leave. Yep. Lloyd. How does she know that? How about she Ovid? You gotta speak to Ovid. I overheard an interesting little tidbit not long ago. About some place called the Ismia Great Forest. They said it's quite dense, foggy almost. Quite, quite dense and foggy and dark. The sort of place people wouldn't dare trespass. It sounds uh, absolutely perfect. Surely there must be some amazing undiscovered ingredients in there. I need to go there right away. Oh, would you? Would be you, wouldn't you? Right, so... Quests. This might be a good spot for fishing. Hmm. Oh, no. I can't find it anywhere. Hmm, what should we do? I'm sorry. I should have been more careful. What happened here? I'm not sure. Let's ask. Excuse me, is something wrong? Well, actually, my wife seems to have dropped her wallet. Sorry, honey. I was being careless. No, my lady. This is all my fault. If only I had been paying better attention. Sob, sob. As you can see, the two of them are feeling rather down. I can't believe I lost all our money. Hmm, what shall we do? We are in a bit of a hurry, but... I'm game. This kind of stuff's what braces were made for. True, but can we spare the time? Help look for the wallet. Would it be alright if we helped you look for it? Really? Oh, that would be so helpful. We looked all over town, but we still couldn't find it. Doubt anyone would have picked it up. And we were never near the river, so it couldn't have fallen in there. Sounds like you really went all out looking. No need to worry. We're used to helping with these kind of things. Uh, can you remember anything that might narrow down where you dropped it? After we got to Palm, we headed straight for the tailor. They mentioned someone called Patrick? Uh, we ordered some children's clothing and paid part of the cost up front, so it must have been some time after that. Oh, what are we going to do? We won't be able to pay the rest of the cost for Luna's clothes. My lady, we've made it this far. We'll find it no matter what. I probably got lost here in town. While we waited, we decided to walk around the town. We looked at souvenirs in various stores. And there were so many beautiful things, I was agonizing over what to buy. My lady does often take a while to shop. Why not? Making the perfect purchase takes time, after all. If one's household bills in mind, one should always shop the best value. For a noble, she seems rather... frugal. In the meantime, I'd heard talk of a stone monument on old Agria Road. It piqued our interest, so we decided to take a look. Oh yes, Luna was uncharacteristically excited to see it. We had a nice break there and took a family photo. Then we came back to eat lunch, we noticed the wallet was gone. I see. There's the possibility you lost it on the highway. Yeah, it might be worth a shot to check there. Thank you for doing this. We will look around the city once more. Thank you, everyone. Okay, we need the church as well. The chapel. I always keep calling church. Probably my upbringing that causes that. Right, and we get a book. Good, there. Oh, I feel so wrong doing that, but... Oh, well. I'm not going to get used to that. It's that problem, like, by the time we get to the end of the game, I'll be used to it. And then we're going to Cold Steel 4. Oh, I see fish in the water. Shut up about the fish. Yeah, we'll get to Cold Steel 4. And I'll just be stuck in my head of like, oh, now it feels weird doing it. It's like, Ugh. All right, let's go. Yeah. I've been doing it for like, what, like two years at this point in the rounds? Like, it's so long since I wasn't doing it. I was so adamant that I wasn't going to do the rounds back when we first started Cold Steel 1. Mainly because of the 
like 95% of the people that were telling me to do it were quite aggressive about it. Yes. That's the best way I put it. So it's like, well, of course I'm not doing it. That's how I respond to such things. I become petty. Hmm. What's this? The group found an indigo wallet. It still looks pretty new. Could it be... Uh, indeed, I'm certain it belongs to that noble couple. They mentioned they were taking pictures here, so they must have dropped it then. I see. Anyway, good thing we got rid of the archaisms yesterday. Oh, this place. Since tourists seem to come here, I guess it'd be a good idea for the guild to keep an eye on the place. Yeah, thanks. Alrighty then, let's go return the wallet to them. Agreed. I mean, you say you got rid of the archaisms, like, yay, they won't be in much trouble at all coming up here on this level lift path to have a picnic and stuff like that, but it's like there's a monster there, the giant freaking hydra here. How did you get past the hydra? That's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go back to Palm, didn't I? <laughs> Looks like they beat me to it. I like how it's obvious who he is, plus you can just see the symbol. Wonder if that kid's the one I've been hearing so much about. There we go. Guess we'll just have to see what he's made of. And how much our little one's grown while we're at it. <laughs> no objections here. Let's go. Let's turn right around, go back in. So I wanted to hand in the wallet quest, not that. Add a little kitties with the mayor or the manager or whatever he is here. Oh! Oh my. Well, I have to speak to her. Oh, I, I see fish in the water. Shut up about the fish! It's I, I adore Luna, so. Father, mother, Eclair, I'm tired of waiting. Waiting here all by myself is just so boring. This town looks so fun. Why can't I come with you? I'm sorry, my dear Luna, but we simply must find this wallet. Oh, everyone. We've returned. Does that mean... That's right, we found the wallet. Uh, this is it, right? And they handed the wallet to Helena. Yes, this is it. I don't even know how to begin to thank you. Now we can relax, eh, Helena? Luna, we can all go out around town now. Really? Yay! I don't really get it, but thank you, everyone. <laughs> You're welcome. Does warm my heart to see you all so happy. Now we can pick up Miss Luna's clothes. Please allow me to thank you as well. Sure, just be more careful next time. Yes, of course. Oh, I absolutely must reward you something. Uh, we should be able to spare 500... No, 1,000 mirrors, thanks. Oh, there's no need for that, really. But we can't simply... Oh, but between the travel expenses and Luna's new clothes... That's right, we still need to pay the rest of the price for those. So we've completely used up our budget. What should we do? <laughs> you really don't have to give us anything. Hmm, they certainly are very budget... Conscious. If they were, they wouldn't have spent it all. Well then, how about this? It seems like you venture out onto the highways a lot. I want to give you this lucky charm we bought for protection. It may not be worth much, but please accept it with our thanks. Well, alright, if you insist. We appreciate it. And it feels right to pay you back for your kindness, even if just a little. Thank you so much, everyone. You stay care on your way. Bye-bye. We will. Safe travels to you as well. Bye for now. And take your time and enjoy your sights. I'm doing a lot of improv with the dialogue. It's very strange. It's like just slight changes in my own head. It's like, I know I'm doing them. It's like, stop it. Just read what's put there. Like, no, but, but, but. Just remember that like, I need to get this sort of stuff sorted as well. So I want some strength up for Laura if we can. We'll have the orange cape. Like, regardless of what else is on it. Uh, CP gain, that'd be good for you. Evasion would be good for you. Hmm. 
gonna go back over here and go with that coral one, obviously. Hmm. Go with that. Although, hmm. Go with the yellow one on you. Maybe the green? Go with the preventing poison at this point. It probably feels more correct. Right, so now let's head out on the palm by road. And get on our horse. Alright, let's go. Just nice relaxing music, isn't it? Yeah. They got pretty good with the ambience, at least in Cold Steel 3, I'd say. Beyond this is the abandoned road. There will be no turning back. If you continue past here, the main story will progress. Please note that all quests and sub-events you have yet to complete will disappear. I mean, we should be alright. Right? Just did a little look at my guide there, it's like, it sh should be. If not, we'll have to come back. Yeah! Here? Yeah, this is where Laura saved us yesterday. The abandoned Hamel Road. A place sealed away 14 years ago. This road leads to a town destroyed in a landslide. <laughs> shortly before the war with Le Burl. First things first, let's get this gate unlocked. Hmm, looks like it'll be tough to get that big chain off. Let the chain go. Phew, finally. For it to be this heavily sealed off, there is most assuredly something of significance beyond here. I mean, you say it's heavily sealed off, but it's like you could have easily climbed that and just jumped over. Hmm. So it leads here after all. Ah. Oh, Aka, you came. Did Toval contact you? Yeah, I checked the area around. Titus Gate before coming here. Found traces of a bunch of those clowns being smuggled through. Right under the provincial army's nose. That backs up the info the Marquis gave us, yeah? I see. They waited until the provincial army was weak, then snuck past them and set up their base here. Yes, and it seems there is something taboo about this place. That would certainly deter any unwanted visitors. It would appear our Robert Oss is as aggravatingly shrewd as ever. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. How dare they use this place for their crappy little schemes. You know about this place, Agat? But aren't you from Le Burl? I was born in a place called Revenue Village. It's near our border with the Empire. I'm familiar with the name Hamel. Oh, yes. And then the truth about it. Four years ago, during the incident in Le Burl. So then... It's connected to the Hundred Days of War, after all? Yeah, if you've... If you're headed in there... I'm coming with you. I need to for some pals of mine. And for that asshole who up and died. Ah. Sarah told me a bit about that. Understood. We'd be grateful for your help. I hear you've made a name for yourself as the Heavy Blade. I look forward to seeing what an A-Rank Bracer can do. Hm. Just like Sarah, I'm pretty much self-taught. Don't know if I've got any moves that impress the daughter of the Radiant Blade Master, but we'll see. Got no idea what they think they're doing in here. But if they've had this much time to set up shop, I'm sure we're gonna have a hell of a welcome waiting for us. Hope you're all ready for the worst. Yeah. Always am. I'm ready to blow away the fog that's settled on our nation. Let us rid ourselves of the darkness that awaits us. Hm. Right on the money. I guess Musée's info was right. Do we really need to hang this far back? 
I think we can still see them wandering off. It's just so hard to see at this point. And we need to be wary of Instructorine's ability to sense the presence of others. We can't take any of those with him lightly either. Especially Agat. Agreed. We must somehow follow them without being noticed. It may be necessary to follow animal trails at times. I feel kind of bad about being all sneaky like this. we come this far. Refuse to be left out of this now. I don't know why you're coming with us, though. You're in Class 8. Thought you had some bone to pick with us. Hm. I do what I want. Besides, you should be thanking me. I was the one who tricked Randolph into letting me bring this thing. Are you gonna... Take that along animal trails? I wonder if this is okay. It'd be a welcome addition to our fighting strength. We're already overstepping our bounds by simply being here. Holding back at this point would be inadvisable. Huh? What's wrong? Uh, don't we practice already? No, that ain't it. There's a bit of a situation. What? I can't believe that punk really did it. Is something wrong? Were we attacked again? Ash disappeared with a dark and drink practice. Uni, Kurt, Altina, all of Class 7 went with him. Huh? What? <laughs> I'm happy I was able to help. Yes. Help. Name of the game, everyone. Name of the game. 1.40 p.m. Gonna be especially listening to the music here now. We're just flying about. That's what they're saying, yeah. And there it is. It's a small archaism built for patrolling. Ain't any type I've seen before. We must be up ahead. Oh, Class 7, we can't afford to waste time exploring. We still will, though. Our destination is the ruins of Himmel. We're to find what the society is up to and stop them. Laura Fee, Elliot, Agate, follow me. All right. You got it. All right, let's put Agate up front instead of Fee. And let's see here. Go with the CP gained. Go with the prevent stat down. That'd be good. Does he need anything in terms of like augments or anything? Can't really do his self, can he? Although I could, couldn't I? Hmm. Was worth a try though, wasn't it? Was worth a try. Here, we don't need a heal. If we get into a fight, we get into a fight. If we don't, we don't. Oh, treasure chest. Do we? No, we do not have the horses. Why do we not have the horses, though? I mean, there's no reason why. They're not, like, stated like we can't bring the horses up here. It just seems very strange. That would have allowed us to bring the horses, because it's the... Although I suppose that maybe they want you to... I'm just trying to think, like, what's Falcom's motive here? Ooh. Got a good few things there. Although the enemies are not... Oh, I was going to say, they're not even trying to come at me. Yeah, this reminds me of a uh, crossbell at this point. West. Crossbell Highway. Oh, look, there's someone there. A worthy opponent. Is it? Oh, I think second form Gale. Second form Gale! Let's go! Hmm. No escape! My turn! Let's 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 do it. Let's do it. Let's finish this! Dragon Ball! Come on!
Come back when you're stronger. Well, all right then. Nice to see all the Master Quartz getting leveled up a bit. Phew. It sure looked tough, but we're fine now. You guys are all Class 7 graduates, yeah? He's been a surprise, but you two ain't bad yourselves. And again, that dipshit of founder has always had an eye for talent. Um, pardon? Are you talking about Class 7's founder? That couldn't be Prince Oliver. It could. Yeah, that's the one. We met in Le four years back. Didn't know he was a prince till later. He hid his identity and walked around pretending to be a musician on vacation. Anyway, with a couple of fresh braces leading the way, we worked together to crush the society's plans. Man, did he ever make fools of us when he waltzed in leading a division of the Imperial Army. I heard about that from Instructor Sarah. He collaborated with a Liberlian general to impede the Imperial Army's involvement. <laughs> he couldn't settle for anything less dramatic. Not for one who founded Class 7. And the Crimson Wings, I suppose. Well, as you probably know, he lost his wings. No longer under the protection of the Vanda family, either. That's exactly how the Imperial Government... No. How the bastard the Blood of Nine Chancellor wanted it. You seem well versed in the current goings on in the Empire. I guess it's not like I want to save the guy or anything. The civil war here is over, but the army's still building its strength. And you got other groups sneaking around. Your government continues to doggedly regulate the guild. It's even putting pressure on the guild's headquarters in the Marne. And that's all the way in the center of the continent. And their regulations were why Agat and another Liberian A rank bracer were dispatched. What a headache. Truly, we are indebted to all the guild has done. I realize if something happened to the Empire, it'd be chaos for the countries at its borders. These two braces I mentioned before were actually supposed to come here. Then they got denied entry and, well, here I am. Just who are they to get denied by the government? Ah, no one in particular. They're a pair of young braces from Le Burl. I haven't met them yet. I heard they can't enter because their dad's real high up in the Royal Army. And one of them's got a hell of a background that make anyone keep tabs on him. Alright. The rings are pretty far. Could be dangerous. Don't let anything get the jump on you. Lloyd. Let's begin our investigation. Yeah, that's gonna carry on. The only thing that's not gonna come up... Probably. I say probably because you never know. You never know is 32. Treasure sighted. Begin recovery mission. And Mickey Mouse. And they will probably be stuck in the Crossbell games in the Let's Plays. Whereas here, we can carry on the Roger Lloyd. I think I did that as just a one. There's a lot of things that start off as one off jokes and then just carry on. It's weird. Hello. Why, why don't you just attack straight away? Why do you go like, look, look, there's four of us. You see us, yeah? Right, let's begin. Like, what are you doing? Crimson Slash. Is it? My turn. May as well. Sleepy wave. Unforgivable. I do not want to sleep. Let's go! You have made me angry. Guess we get those three then. No escape! Yeah! Now! An That's opening. turbo now. Yeah. Let's go! Be down. Come back when you're stronger. Jeebus. They just won't quit, will they? It looks like they sent them out to patrol the whole area. Hmm. Good thing I stopped short stuff in her tracks. What are you talking about? Tita Russell? Yeah, she knows about Hamil. So she kept nagging me about coming with. You think it was about Hamil? I'd say she just wanted to cozy up to her man. Tita is that 
blonde girl with the ponytail at the camp, right? Yeah, yeah. She was very charming. Two don't look related. Is she dear to you? Yeah, no, uh, for crying out loud. Even her damn mum won't get off my back about that. I could say she's like a little sister to me. Ever since around the orbital shutdown phenomena, she's been kind of attached to me. She was in the belt then? Sure was. She's only 12, but she faced the danger like a champ. She looks like she wouldn't harm a fly, but she'll always step up when you need her. Didn't think she'd go to the Empire in Estelle's stead. <laughs> she went and grew up before I even knew it. <laughs> I have a feeling she really is dead him. Yeah, the way he talks about her kind of melts my heart. Believe me, Sarah and Tove will tease him about it all the time. Hey, what are you whispering about? Whatever, I'm just glad she's having fun as a student. Don't be afraid to give her a hard push as an instructor when she needs it. <laughs> no problem. But in order for me to do that, we need to tackle what's happening now. <laughs> Alright, let's move. I gen gen genuinely do feel for Agate. A mountain stream like this never ceases to cleanse the soul. You only hear about places this serene in fairy tales. Because it's that sense of like... From what I've experienced, it's like, I would say it's that sort of thing. Like, Teeter is clearly interested in that kind of way. Treasure sighted. I don't think she Begin fully understands, mission. like, her own feelings, like, too young and that sort of thing. Like, she doesn't really understand all that kind of stuff yet. Properly. Like, she's getting more aware of that kind of stuff. Whereas, with Agat, it very much, like, is to him. It's like, yeah, it's like a little sister. Like more of the little things. This one's strong. Be careful. How dare you interrupt the music? We're enjoying that. Crimson Slash. Now. Now. An opening. I'll handle this. Ashes. Now. An opening. All right. Oh we? If he gets shot, he's dead. Payback. Are you okay? Oh, Thanks. thank you, buddies. My turn. Be down. It's my turn. Now oh, we already got that one sorted. Thank you, Agatha. Crimson Slash. Yeah. Hmm. Please hear my song. Thanks. Thanks. Let's go. Let's go. My turn. It's kind of like we can get a it's lot more turn. going on here by doing this. My turn. All right. In terms now. of like again building up. stuff up for this future battles. Now, huh. let's go. There. <laughs> I'm glad it went well. That sounds about right. Phew, this is unreal. There's supposed to be a landslide here, but I don't see traces of one. There should still be something to see after only 14 years. Yeah, it brings to mind what we were told about this place. Agate, Maki Hyams mentioned something. He said a high-ranked Brazer would know something about the Hamel incident. Did he? I'm just telling you what I heard, okay? It's not going to be pretty for Imperials to hear. Please, Agate. Yeah, I want to know. Okay, then. If it wasn't already clear to you, the landslide story was fabricated. Fourteen years ago, Erebony and LeBel signed a treaty in secret. If it came an official announcement. In secret? Everything about that sounds ominous. It's said that the village of Amel had been wiped out in a natural disaster. Not even on the map anymore, right? It's amazing how easily it is to hide the truth. No one ever had to know that the people of Hamel were victims of mass murder. Murder? Agat, that's... Not everyone was murdered. Two people survived. But that tragedy of Hamel as you know it isn't real. It wasn't nature's doing, it was greed's. 
What came of that incident was the Hundred Days' War. Doesn't make any sense for LaBelle to hide it all behind a landslide. Let's keep moving. We'll see what the society's up to first. I'll tell you the rest once we're in Hamel. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Ugh, frame rate. I see it being janky. The problem is, like, when I render it, it's like I... Because of, like, the settings I use and stuff like that, it could make it smoother. But it should still be noticeable that something was odd there. It's just odd angles. Oh, treasure chest. Yeah, it's just the frame rate's just... Stuttering. And I have a powerful PC. Need it to render. So I don't know. It's very, very strange. Very strange. Now, I can't remember if there's going to be any more scenes up here. I imagine there's a few. But... I don't know. I think there's one at some flowers or something. Which makes sense. I'm just worried I'm going to miss a chest. Is, that, is there any... I don't think there's anything back there. Is that I've, I've got to miss. I'm just checking it and corresponding it with my guide. Make sure. Again, we don't really need the chest as much as we did. It's a tough one. In previous Careful. games. Be just because th there's no chest quotes. We don't exactly need them, do we? Again, it's not like I'm gonna miss out on things that are important. Am I? It looks pretty tough. Let's watch out. It does seem fairly easy to avoid it. I think it's like so there you are, the flowers. I've learned that whole sort of link like turn off turbo when I'm coming near an enemy. Ah. A white flower. Way up here in the mountains. It's so pretty. I wonder if the villagers ever looked after them. Just what I'd expect from our resident member of the gardening club. It does seem that way. Even after the people have gone, the flowers remain. Nugget? Can we stop here for a moment? Yeah, I had the same thought. Let's go ahead and pick some for them. They smell so nice. Indeed, they appear to be a type of lily. Yep, pretty rare kind too. There are traces that some of them have already been picked. Huh? Is that so? Yeah, pretty recently, too. Does that mean... No sense worrying about it. We'll know once we get there. <laughs> where are we? I'm just, again, just double-checking... Like, with my guide, where we are and stuff like that. There should be... Two chests. That's cool. Again, it's like, I may as well get them. A powerful foe. Ready yourselves. I think... So the map's backwards oh, and stuff. What a beautiful yeah. view. Even the forest is picture perfect. So this is where they grew up. Yes, they did. Whoop. Watch out, slug. Alright, so I think... This is the lovely place to end this part. And the next part we'll go over to... Hamel. You'd take down the sign, wouldn't you, at least? We're here at last. Yes, the place wiped from the Empire's maps 14 years ago. Seems like the thing about a landslide really was a lie. Let's go inside. Yeah. Hamel, the village where Joshua and that idiot were born. And, like I said... We'll be ending this part here. We'll see you in the next part. We're going to Hamel. Ta-da for now.